Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul. Hopefully you're having an amazing day. Yeah, so there's been a lot of news recently regarding AMD's upcoming processors. At Computex, of course, they debuted their, well, very impressive 3D stacking technology where we saw a ridiculous amount of cache being coupled with an existing Zen 3 processor, that's the 5900X, and the performance uplift was, well, tantalizing. Later, AMD have confirmed that this processor is actually scheduled to release early next year, which makes sense given, of course, Intel will be launching Alder Lake this year, but Zen 4 is not going to see a release until most likely Q4 of, well, next year. But already Zen 4 has had a lot of uh, leaks and we know that this architecture is going to be significantly more performant than even this Zen 3 refresh of sorts. There's a very fascinating slide that Gamers Nexus have released. We'll get into it in just a second. And it actually confirms a couple of very interesting things. Now, this slide is actually a little bit old. It dates back from early last year. But interestingly, there's a key thing mentioned here, and that is Warhol. Now, I can't confirm whether this slide is legitimate or not. And even Gamers Nexus themselves are not 100%. But the fact that Warhol is mentioned here is tantalizing. If you recall, one of my videos I stated that Warhol is cancelled, but I was receiving quite a lot of conflicting information whether Warhol was actually a legitimate thing or not. It seemed to appear on some partner uh, roadmaps, but AMD's, well, own roadmaps, at least the ones that people I know have uh, seen, let's put it that way, it never mentioned Warhol specifically. However, I was still hearing that Warhol had been at least a project that AMD had planned. But this slide that Gamers Nexus have revealed actually raises a lot of interesting questions. So let's take a quick look. As you will spot, it is 45 to 105 watts. We'll get more into that in just a moment for Raphael. And there's also gaming notebooks, which have an envelope of 35 to 65 watts. New upgraded AM5 platform, more IO, more current delivery. Uh, Zen 4 performance uplift in TDP neutral comparison to Warhol. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Technology is Zen 4 CCD. It's based on the N5 process with the IO die being produced on the N7 process. It is codenamed Durango, at least for the CCD. I find that also quite curious because Durango was a yeah, codename of the Xbox One before it was actually released, you know, during development. So, I don't know, it just, it just interests me that they would use that code name. No particular, you know, bad thing, just interesting. Anywho, um, there are two Durango 8-core 16-thread Persephone cores, and they uh, are 32 megabytes L3 cache. This does seem to confirm that we are looking at only 16 cores. Furthermore, there is an integrated Narve-based GPU, although it seems to be decided with the configuration. This is specifically, it seems like, for entry-level graphics performance, unsurprisingly, and there's a client I.O. die as well. Now, Gamers Nexus state that they cannot confirm whether this has been, whether this is legit, excuse me, but now they've decided to release it because there is a lot of supporting evidence. You know, we've seen folks such as Executable Fix on Twitter leak quite a bit. I've leaked a few things as well. And just, well, in general, Zen 4 is leaking like a sieve right now. It's going glug, 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 glug. Um, yeah, it's probably one of the most leaked architectures in some time for AMD. And I I think that this is um, shaping up to be an extremely impressive architecture. IPC-wise, I'm hearing that the uplift is, let's just say, phenomenal. Um, while Zen 2 to Zen 3 is definitely a very big uh, improvement, and it also, in many ways, sets the... I, I guess it kind of sets things up for what's to come, you know, with the unified CC exits, or, uh, cache and stuff like that. Um, I do feel that the next iteration is going to be as important, perhaps even more so. And given that we're going to see the inclusion of technology like DDR5, I know I sound like a broken record here, but seriously, the bandwidth increase is going to be, I think, it's going to be instrumental in kind of going forward. And I personally believe that we are only going to see 16 cores, 32 threads for the next generation uh, Zen 4 uh, processors. I had heard originally, uh, I even put out a video quite a while back, I believe it was last year, that it might be 24 cores, 
but that does not seem to be something AMD are still thinking of. In fact, it seems that AMD are going to consistently um, stick to 16 cores, possibly increase this with Zen 5. But let's get back to the topic of, well, the TDP. Because more recent leaks seem to indicate that we're looking at 125 watts. So there are a couple of possibilities. The first is that these slides are fake slash inaccurate. The game is Nexus have leaked. The second possibility is that more recent Zen 4 information is incorrect. Or what I'm more leaning towards, AMD have instead decided to just simply raise the TDP figures. Because it's not like 125, well, I suppose it really depends. Is it really 125 watts? You know, is it really, really? But assuming it's not Intel TDP and it's actually TDP, um, yeah, I I'm okay with 125 watts, to be honest with you, especially for the higher end SKUs, you know, that's absolutely fine with me. I wouldn't be surprised if we do see 5 gigahertz as well. I mean, at the end of the day, don't take that as confirmation, but just logically based upon what we can expect from the 5NM process. But I do want to skip back to the Warhol situation because there are several possibilities at this point regarding Warhol. The first is that this slide and all information about Warhol is fake, which is definitely possible. The second is that Warhol was planned, but it never really got too far in the planning stages, i.e. it was basically cancelled very early on. So perhaps AMD had kind of said, this is our plans to a partner, but it got cancelled so early, AMD, you know, their marketing slides and stuff like that just didn't really reflect on that. That's always possible. The other possibility is that this refresh we're seeing with the embedded die, that's Warhol. And there is some, um, you know, Warhol had not been fleshed out. In fact, there was very little information we knew about Warhol. What I heard is that it was AM4, so that is definitely in the checkbox um, for the refresh, you know, the 5900X, the 3D stack cache. So that's definitely, you know, that's, that's, that's definitely a positive. The IPC games do also seem to be roughly what we expect based on what AMD have provided us with, let's say, the Gears demo. And again, Warhol was at worst around 8, 9% I was hearing, possibly 12-ish, 13% at best. So again, that would make sense. But yeah, the only other, po the only other, you know, plus tech Actually, there's two others. The first is that I was hearing that the Warhol architecture wasn't significantly changed, the underlying architecture. So again, that would be a plus tick. And the final plus would be that, well, um, this project was really kept secret. And I know that's not really <laughs> positive, but you know, just the kind of fact that a lot of people were surprised that this actually existed, maybe that is Warhol. But again, who knows at the end of the day? Because AMD also, we know that there's a, you know, a 3D stacked Milan processor, Milan X, which I've discussed before, so I won't take up your time kind of going over it again. And AMD didn't choose to show that off. And oftentimes, you know, projects can be kind of, they can be, you know, they can get far along in development, but they can just be essentially like um, proof of concepts or uh, they don't really work in reality or something else happens or you maybe have a couple of projects going on at once and the more successful project that's what goes on i mean console manufacturers do that all the time you know there was like one of the most infamous examples of this was sega and the saturn there was like multiple different configurations of the saturn that have you know changed over time where originally it didn't have like really good 3d capabilities and then Sega did almost the same thing the next time around with the Dreamcast, where it had a couple of entirely different chipsets. It had like the Power VR2 chipset, and it was even going with 3DFX. And um, 3DFX actually ended up suing Sega, which is kind of weird given that NVIDIA now own 3DFX. So NVIDIA technically in the history have sued Sega, which is interesting because Sega actually licensed technology to NVIDIA for a 3D chipset. You know what, it's, it's getting really complicated, so let's just drop that. My brain is kind of churning. Either way, I'm very curious to see what actually comes of Zen 4. I'm actually feeling really positive. I'm also gonna be very interested to see what the marketing around, um, 
you know, these Ryzen XT processors, for lack of a better word, it's actually going to be. I suspect that they are going to be more expensive, but I mean, this is a guess, but I imagine AMD are only going to release like these processors in like the 5900X, you know, and 5950X. I don't think they're going to release, uh, release low end SKUs. That's not a leak, that's just me speculating. Uh, so they might have those as like the 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 pinnacle highest end SKUs and then add like a couple of hundred bucks or whatever as a price premium. And I feel that Alder Lake is going to be a nice architecture as well. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on this one, guys, especially regarding Warhol. I'm, I'm genuinely curious what people think of it. Do you think it was like an architecture that actually ever existed? I, I think it was at least planned, but I want to know, do you think this you know, this refresh of sorts is Warhol. I'm not convinced, honestly, but I'm not saying it isn't. I honestly, I would like to know because it's, it's I find it irksome, <laughs> just honestly. Things like this bug me. You know, it's it's the nya factor, if you know what I mean. Like, nya, I want to know. <laughs> that wasn't really. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.